welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and of course you see here a couple of radios uh, that are part of my collection uh, and I've been part for a while um, so we have here the Texan PL680 good old veteran radio that I've had for many years and this of course is a brand new or brand new newer Texan PL330 um, what are the main differences? Uh, some people are asking me, what's the main difference if I buy this or that? Well, the PL680, the difference is that it is a PLL synthesized receiver. It's not DSP at its base. So it tunes like a regular analog radio. It doesn't have any muting uh, or chuffing when you actually tune around. So there's not, there's not an annoyance there about that. But it doesn't have all the flexibility that, for example, the Texan PL330 has in the bandwidths. Here, the bandwidths are simply, um, you know, wider narrow. So when you actually tune a signal, you have the wide or the narrow, which shows up here. And that's it. So it's two settings only. When you have a Texan PL330, because it's DSP based, that chip gives more flexibility. So the ham bandwidth actually goes from five, so from five to 3.5 to 2.5. You have several options that you can check out depending on what you are going to do. So that could help in certain circumstances. In single sideband, the same thing. If I put myself in single sideband on this radio, I still have only two bandwidths, which are the same bandwidths, by the way, that was an AM. If I put myself in single sideband on this radio, now the bandwidths are from 0.5 to 1.2, 2 2.2, 2 3, and 4. More flexibility, once again, uh, with this. Of course, another thing that is interesting here is the fact that you have frequency calibration. You can calibrate the PL330 to be tuned to a specific frequency and be always precise. Now, some versions of the 680 that are more modern have calibration feature, but the older original ones do not. Uh, and sometimes they do have a little bit off frequency. This one has about one kilohertz off, a little more, maybe one and a half. Uh, but overall, they're, you know, uh, different in the way that they are designed. Had the PL330 with its DSP chip has more options like that. The rest of the radio itself and the performance is pretty much equal, I would say. It will go on for the next part to mostly, um, you know, audio quality. What is the audio quality of one or the other? And we're going to dabble that in a couple of signals. We're going to tune signals on this uh, PL680 and the Texan PL330 today and compare those signals to uh, give you guys an idea a little bit more about the audio quality uh, both on AM shortwave signals and single sideband. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.